Well, uh, from now on, people looking for a horse and carriage ride have to go inside Central Park. Mm -hmm. Carriage drivers moved inside the park this morning to comply with those new rules by the city. Pickups on Central Park South are no longer permitted. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nelson is live in Midtown with more on the change. Rob? Hey, good afternoon, Charlene. This has been an issue in the city for a long time now. And here on this first day of March, we have reached a critical day. That's because a new rule just went into effect about two and a half hours ago, moving those famous horse carriages from Central Park South to right here inside the park itself. It's a scene in Midtown almost as iconic as Central Park itself. Horse-drawn carriages lined up along busy 59th Street. Drivers waiting to pick up customers, mainly tourists, looking for a scenic ride through the city. We have operated on Central Park South for 160 years without incident. There is nothing wrong where our horses were in the carriage stands that they had. They were relaxed, they were comfortable, they were safe, they were visible to passersby. Today, though, a new city rule goes into effect, a tipping point in a long legal battle. As of 10 a.m. this morning, drivers are only allowed to pick up customers, drop them off, inside the park at a few locations specified by the city, some of which are actually still under construction. Supporters say the move creates safer, more humane conditions for the animals. This rule change really rights that wrong and simply moves the horses into the car free entrances to the park um, where they have some relief from cars and exhaust and all of that frightening stimuli for horses. Critics, however, say the horse lining up along Central Park South for decades without problems. They worry the loss of visibility will hurt business, and they also argue the new pickup locations, some of which are on an incline, could put strain on the horse's legs. They also believe the move should have been decided by the full city council, not just a directive from Mayor de Blasio. The issue wound up in court, and a judge last month sided with the mayor's authority to make this change. This is corruption and gross incompetence. City officials say carriage drivers who do not comply with the new order will not not be handed a summons today. Instead, the city, at least for now, will focus on educating drivers about the new policy before eventually cracking down. This is part of Vision Zero for um, easing congestion in Midtown and making streets safer and more workable for everyone. And critics of this also question the mayor's motivation in making this change. That's because a group called New York Class has been a huge proponent of this rule change. That group also a big donor to Mayor de Blasio. And on top of that, this issue not quite over just yet. That's because there are still two pending lawsuits because of this change, one of which is actually on the docket for today. Again, not over just yet.